Hello, welcome back to the Django Beach channel. My name is Stuart Gauntlet. I'm here to talk about uh, the Gypsy Bossa Rhythm today and, and how to get started. Um, now, uh, we did the Bolero Rhythm the last time and that it's a Latin rhythm and we talked about how it's got two halves, a strong half and a weak half. Nearly all Latin rhythms have the same sort of structure. Well, not the same, but the idea of two halves and a strong half and a weak half. And as this is based on Bossa Nova, which is a Brazilian style, um, which has its roots in samba, and another style called choro, um, then it, it does have these two halves. Um, I'm going to show you just briefly what bossa nova looks like if you're not uh, familiar, what it sounds like. So I'll need my other guitar for this, really. This is my flamenco guitar. <laughs> handmade okay um, so the first thing you need to do is just get the chord we're going to be using which is an A minor 7 which is going to be first of all these three strings but you're going to be barring on the fifth fret with your ring finger okay and muting the high E as well your, your middle finger is going to go onto the, the low string the low E on the fifth fret okay muting the A. Right, this is how um, the, uh, this is one of the ways of playing, there are lots of variations in bossa nova but this is one of them. Okay, put this away. Now you notice I'm doing that with my fingers and I'm pinching um, the strings and using my thumb. And it's quite a steady, even, chilled out sort of rhythm. The Gypsy Buster is very similar in pattern, but um, it's not as intricate because you're strumming. And um, one of the things it reminds me of is the song Sultans of Swing by um, Dire Straits. The, if you listen to that, you'll hear the the same pattern being strummed. Um, so check that out. <laughs> um, a gypsy buster, yeah. The main thing is that your if we take the chord again, is that your arm is is going all the time, always always strumming, in the main rhythm. Unless you're doing variations or something posh. That's so just going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And now there are two patterns we're going to use today to get you into the into the rhythm. The first is like this, okay? It's 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 the simplified version, and then we're going to add something on top. So it's like this. You're going to be going down, up, mute, up. Down, up, mute, up. Okay, again. Down, up, mute, up. Again. Down, up, mute. Okay, so it's pretty easy. Um, what you're going to do with it is you're going to repeat it four times. Okay, imagine it in four, in groups of four, and um, possibly you might need to pause the video here and then go away and uh, and sort it out. But that's because the second part here is where we just add a slight variation to one of those groups of four. So we're going to take there's, there's four groups. There's four groups of four. We're going to change only the first group, okay? So, the, this pattern is just to replace the first of these groups, and it goes one miss strike mute four. Whenever there's a number, you're actually voicing a chord, okay? One miss strike mute four. One miss strike. Strike mute four. One miss strike mute four. One miss strike mute four. Okay. 
Now, when you put it on the, when you replace it on here, this is what the whole pattern will sound like now. That's the Gypsy Bossa rhythm. That's how it goes. And there really aren't very many variations on it. There really aren't. You will hear people sort of imitating actual Bossa. I've heard Angelo de Bar doing it, but only for introductions or for little flash bits in the middle. The person at the back, if you're just two of you and you're playing Gypsy Bossa, you're going to want to stay very straight because you've got no one to bounce off of. Um, and you've got to provide a nice, strong, flowing Gypsy Bossa rhythm for the person who's soloing. It has to flow nicely. Okay, um, any questions of course, feel free to send me a comment or ask, and um, please subscribe, um, click on a couple of ads, it, it doesn't affect your bank balance, but it is a donation to me that helps, and uh, well, I'll see you soon.